So the next video for the MySQL series is all about alter table, how you can programmatically with SQL change columns and rows inside of your, or not rows, but columns inside of your table. So you can change data types for columns, you can add columns, remove columns, all that. Now if you've been following along with the series, you've already got all the tables and data that we're using, but if not, I will provide the link to this SQL file where you can download it, download the zip, expand it, take the SQL file from out of there, and then in PHP My Admin, uh, go to your database, and inside your database, go to the Import tab, click on the Choose File, choose your, your SQL file, and then click Go, and that will create these tables. Now for this video, I'm just focusing on the People table. So inside of here, we're going to the People table, and we can take a look at the structure for this and see that we currently have these five columns. Person ID, which is the auto increment primary key field. It's an integer. Birth year, which is a year field. First name, last name, and has a count. This one's a Boolean, so tiny int with one byte. You can use one and zero as the values. So this is what it uses for the Boolean. All right, now for alter table, if I want to make changes, the alter table is the command that we use. Now with alter table, now I can specify what it is that I want to do to this table. Now we have person ID, which we created. There's currently no data in this table. Person ID uh, the, is an auto increment field and the value by default is number one. So the next value that's going to be added is one and then it'll be two and three and so on. I'm going to change that. I want to jump ahead and say, well, I'm done with my development work. Let's say I've got a couple hundred rows inside of here, but I'm going to start using it for production purposes. And I want to jump ahead and set the new auto increment value to say 10,000. So we use the alter table command. And with that, we just have to put those things that we would put right at the end. If you're doing a create table command, you do create table. And then with a set of parentheses, you can put all the columns and fields. The stuff that comes after it, like the engine, auto increment, these are things that we can just tack onto the end here. So these are options about the table, they're settings for the table. So we're going to change that, which will make person ID, the primary key, jump to 10,000 with our next insert. So we'll say, oh yes, you do need to specify the... Um, table that you're altering. <laughs> Very important point. So alter table people, auto increment 10,000 will go. And there we have it. We have updated that value. So currently no records in here. Let's just use PHP my admin. We'll insert a row. We'll say um, somebody born in the year 2000 called Henry Smith. And we'll say, yes, he does have an account. Okay, so we're creating this one record. I'll click go. Boom, we've inserted this. And there we are. Person ID is 10,000. It just automatically took that auto increment value and that's what it used to create this person. Great, so that worked. Now let's do some other things that are probably going to be a lot more common than just changing that value. So alter table people, specify the table that you're going to change. Now we've got a command for add column. This would be if you were doing a create table command again. And let's say this was the table that we created was called XYZ. We do something like this. Inside of here, whatever you want the columns to be, this is where you do the comma separated list. This is the same thing that we would do up here. So we would take one of the lines that we would put inside of here, but if the table already exists, we have to do an alter table to change it. So I'm going to add a column. We'll say it's going to be called uh, account type. And account type is going to be uh, tiny int one byte, so up to 255 would be the possible values for this. Let me get rid of that, we don't need that. So we have tiny int and not null. We'll say the default is going to be 
one. Okay, so we'll run that. There we are. Now we have created a brand new column called account type, which is going to be a tiny int, so 0 to 255, or actually, because we didn't specify that it was unsigned, this will be uh, negative 127 to positive 128. So let's take a look at the structure. There we are. Yeah, so what we want to do with this account type is change it so it's an unsigned. So therefore, we get 0 to 255. So let's take a look at that one. So we're altering the table people, and we're going to be modifying the column called account type. Now, this needs to be the same for our purposes. We're still doing a tiny int. It's going to be not null. It's going to have a default of 1. But we want to add in the unsigned property here. There we are. So there's our command. This is going to keep us in the positive with those numbers. So 0 to 255 is going to be what's possible with the one byte. And there we are. So we've added the unsigned property into the definition for this column. Now, we've done add, we've done modify. Uh, we can do a change, which is if you want to rename a column. So let's try that one. We'll do a change column instead of a modify. And we're going to take our birth year column, and we're going to rename it as, let's say, DOB, date of birth. Let's just do that. And then we can keep the other things the same. So year, not null. There we are. So we've changed that. Let's take a look at the structure and make sure we've got this. So date of birth, yep. Account type is unsigned. Now has account. Let's say we want to get rid of that one. So we're going to drop this column. We'll do an alter table and we're going to drop this column. Alter table people. Drop column. And the one we want to get rid of is the has account. This one right here. Just remember, whenever you drop something in SQL or MySQL, there is no undo. So you do this, it is gone. So we no longer have that column inside of here. Now, one last thing that you can do with alter table is if you want to rearrange the order, we can actually use the modify command to move a column. So let's take a look at our structure right now to see what we have. This date of birth column. Let's say we want to move that down to the end. We want to take year and give it a default value and move it down to the end. So let's say we're going to make the default value for this into the year 2000, and we're going to move it to the very end after account type. So here's our last one here. Alter table people. And we're going to modify. And it's the column that we're modifying. The column is date of birth. We're going to keep it as a year. Um, we're going to set the default value. And we'll put our not null in there as well. And our default value is going to be the year 2000. Then there's a couple of keywords. We can say first, which will put it at the very beginning as the very first column. We don't want to do that. So instead of first, we'll say after, and then which column we want to put it after. And account type was the one that we wanted to set it after. Okay, so people's the table we're changing. The column we're changing is the date of birth one. Keeping it as a year, keeping it as not null, it's giving a default value of 2000. So if somebody inserts a row without providing a value, this is what's going to go in there. And the placement, it's going to move it after the account type. Okay, and we'll jump over to the structure and take a look. And there it is. Date of birth is now at the very end. So alter table. And then we have add column to create a new one. We have drop column to get rid of one. We have change column 
which is for uh, renaming it. We provide an old name and a new name. And then we also have modify, which lets you just change the various properties that you have over here or change its position by setting it to first or after some other column. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I will provide a link to the SQL file to create this so you can play around with it. And I'll also create a link to the reference menu for the alter table syntax and a link to the rest of the playlist. And as always, thanks for watching.